Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, J.W. Schmo from After Our Gaming League's B-League Raytheon team. This is uh, week number two with uh, a nail-biting matchup between Raytheon and Amazon. And uh, we are now watching the ace match. So for those of you that have been following, uh, Raytheon took the first two matches with uh, BBZ and uh, Yeah Buddy uh, defeating Team 8 and Pretzel respectively. And uh, Amazon Set and Sancho uh, defeating Shadarki and myself, JW Schmo, res uh, Schmo respectively, uh, in games uh, three and four. Uh, and that leads us to this excellent matchup between Sancho, who played their fourth match, uh, Amazon's fourth match, and uh, Yeah Buddy from Team Raytheon, who played uh, Raytheon's second match. All right, so in the upper right hand corner, we have for Amazon in the ever elegant orange. Uh, Sancho playing as Zerg, and in the bottom left-hand corner, in the ever wonderful Raytheon red, we have Yeah Buddy from uh, Team Raytheon playing as uh, Red Zerg. I, I I just you know it's it's a very elegant red. I I, uh, I can't say that I like all reds, but uh, you know Raytheon Raytheon wears it wears it well. All right, uh, and just some basic play. Let's get some unit counts up there. So 14 and 13 looks like, yeah, buddy, just a wee bit ahead of Sancho. I don't know exactly how he wants me to pronounce it. Uh, looks like also uh, Sancho a wee bit ahead on the spawning pool. So we see two early spawning pools. So that's uh, uh, the same beginning play. Uh, we did see opposite uh, beginning play in earlier games between BBZ uh, and Set and so on and so forth. Just... Uh, uh, really, you know, they, they do the fast expand and then the uh, and then the uh, spawning pool, uh, and we'll see how this goes. Again, um, I, I will note that both of them, both Sancho and Yeah Buddy, are are uh, pretty effectively laying down uh, some map control with their overlords. Uh, Sancho is able to effectively get down his fast expansion here. Uh, while yeah, buddy, really more focused on getting his drone count up. Uh, both are effective means of uh, starting off the game as Erd. Uh, yeah, buddy, also getting his speedlings researched. Uh, a little bit, we just a wee, a wee hair. Oh, excuse me, just a wee hair behind uh, Sancho. Just a wee bit. That'll probably finish about the same time. So it does look like a uh, Bane nest is going down early for yeah, buddy. So it looks like he's playing a little conserved, a little like, hmm, hmm, maybe I should uh, play conservative here. And uh, we'll see how this goes. I, I will be honest with you, I had to uh, leave shortly after playing my fourth match. So this will be my first time viewing this game. Uh, excuse me for being a bit of a slacker from a casting standpoint. Uh, but uh, just trying to get some content out there and... Uh, Obviously, as the uh, months go on, uh, the quality will incrementally improve. This is what I say to everyone about everything, is that we will have incremental improvement on all of the things I'm responsible for. Uh, hopefully, someone out there believes me. <laughs> all right. All right, so we see a little bit of back and forth here. It's uh, pretty evenly matched. Obviously, both sets of Zerglings here are uh, about the same speed. Uh, let's do a little follow. The speedlings getting researched right at about the same time. And some banelings. Uh, let's see. Who can he see? Can he see? Can he see? Yes. Uh, Sancho does see uh, these wonderful banelings coming down. And we are going to see an attempt at bringing those zerglings into the mix. Uh, and Sancho really focused on... Oh, just missing the timing on those banelings but that's okay and we are going to see the zergling uh, attack uh, a little uh, little effective uh, ha had a good run at those uh, drones didn't happen and uh, we're about well uh, quite honestly it looks like Sancho a little bit uh, more affected by that uh, resources. Looks like uh, Sancho's losing a couple extra units to, um, to yeah, buddy. And this is always indicative. I mean, when you look at the numbers, the, the numbers don't lie, right? Uh, when you've lost an extra almost 200 minerals, um, it puts you behind. Uh, can't really argue with that. 
Um, obviously, the the type of unit lost always makes a difference, but uh, in this early in the game, there's a very limited number of units to be lost. Uh, and it does look like Sancho, with his overlord here, is going to be at risk of being lost. Uh, that is going to uh, block his uh, supply. So Sancho will uh, have to uh, get that back up in order, and uh, as such, is building the All right, so we see um, you know, some pretty good, uh, some pretty good visual here. It looks like both teams have pretty good uh, map sight. I would argue that Sancho is a little struggling. On that note, uh, yeah, buddy is going to see pretty much everything that Sancho lays down. So, so any direct route coming in from this side is going to be seen uh, by yeah, buddy. Uh, obviously, if Mutos were to come down to uh, down here, come down and over, uh, that would be an issue. However, um, that's why we have this natural here. You can see that kind of stuff early. All right, so Sancho is going to have to run away from this queen. Uh, however, the queen is obviously uh, a little bit slower on the snow. I imagine if you were walking over a soft carpet of creep on your day-to-day -day basis, you uh, would not want to walk too fast on the cold because you wouldn't want to walk on the cold at all. Uh, excuse me, the cold snow. All right, so we got a ro roach one going down for Sancho. Uh, we've got two more extractor going down so it looks like yeah buddy a little bit more focused on the minerals and Sancho really getting trying to get some gas up uh, I will notice uh, you will notice that there's about four more drones for yeah buddy so yeah buddy had a distinct uh, drone advantage here uh, again another another eight so, so it's an eight eight drone delta eight drone delta Alright, we got a couple drone uh, excuse me, roaches coming down, some research, gotta love the research, always gotta love the research. Uh, yeah, buddy, uh, buddy. Not really a huge amount of uh, not a huge amount of um, army units at this point. I think Sancho being a little bit more conservative. Alright, so now we see we do see the overlords go out. Uh, this is good for Sancho, uh, even though he is supply blocked at the moment. Uh, this is going to allow him to scout. Uh, we do see some zergling play down in the uh, bo bottom of the map. Just just trying to get some information. Uh, trying to see what's out there. Uh, he is going to see the Roach Warren. And, but he is also distinctly going to see a lack of units. Uh, for yeah, buddy. Of course, now these uh, Roach is coming out in, uh, in mass. Uh, and Sancho really just playing defensively here at the moment. Uh, he is going to take control of that watchtower. A uh, little bit more better sight at the moment, but I think, yeah, buddy, really at this point has uh, a better uh, grasp of key aspects, key pieces of information. Uh, uh, both are seeing the thirds go down. Uh, Sancho a little bit ahead. It looks like Sancho is trying to, trying to keep a little bit ahead on the... number of bases and we do see a little bit of an annoyance here on uh, yeah buddy's expansion um it just just looks like they're both playing the late game uh, which is indicative of um of this play all right so sancho's third goes down again you'll notice that even though uh even though sancho has uh three bases down you just look there is uh now almost a well no there is there is a 15 drone count delta between the two and uh that's huge and that's also evidenced by just the huge amount of uh minerals that yeah buddy has at the moment uh, you can see the income here is higher uh, for uh yeah buddy there yeah, but he, he, and again, even, you know, the key here is even with just two bases, right? Uh, yeah, buddy is, uh, I think you could make a pretty good argument that yeah, buddy is more effectively using those two bases uh, than uh, Sancho is with his three. Simply because yeah, buddy's got um, significantly more drones. Uh, 
uh, and that translates to almost uh, full capacity on the drones for the two bases, which is always good. Uh, I, I know I am lacking in that gameplay. Uh, we do see the rocks coming down, so this will give um, this is going to give yeah buddy time to react, and and it all of a sudden changes the tenor of the game when you're able to react quickly, and now you can kind of set you know this type of trap here. So he is going to see uh, a couple roaches there, but not really know how many. And just look at this, look at that. Hold on, let me. I want to back up and show you this too, because this is. This is what separates the men from the boys, and, and I can say that uh, quite honestly here, uh, and the fact that Ryan, or excuse me, yeah buddy, is in fact one of the men. So he doesn't just, so, so here we have just a very simple smattering of roaches, right? And what you're going to see, let me preempt this here, is what you're going to see is you're going to see a cluster of um, roaches here from Ryan, you're going to see a cluster of roaches here, and then you're also going to see a cluster of excuse me, roaches right here. Why is that key? Well, so that allows uh, Ryan to very naturally create the uh, crescent moon shape here, which gives him the maximum amount of uh, units attacking a very small cluster of units right here. Uh, so yeah, buddy, fundamentally, in this matchup right here, is going to be doing more damage than Sancho is, and Sancho is going to be caught in a wee bit of an awkward position. that up a little bit faster here and get back to the, the fun part all right so we're going to see these units attack speeding this up speeding this up all right so here we go so now we're going to see just again uh, right here so we're going to pause this right here so we see we see that crescent moon here right so these roaches that are right here are all bunched up right so what that means is that uh, when they come down this ramp, right, they're just going to get inundated, right, from all uh, from all sides by a massive amount of roach attacks. And so, if you have a ball here, that means that this half can really attack, and this half really can't, and they're getting attacked by all of these roaches. All right, so we're going to see this happen, and again, that's what you know kind of separates the men from the boys. And we do see a good retreat by Sancho here. That's very good. But we do see a couple lost units. Uh, one thing else to note is that the carapace and the um, acid saliva for Yeah Buddy are both researched while Sancho is uh, still uh, doing his second research. And a little, uh, a little worrisome here is that the carapace really is not getting researched at this point. So uh, you have a problem on Sancho's part where uh, not taking full advantage of the research research capabilities that are present to him. Uh, so it looks like, yeah, buddy, again, his unit count, he's got about 25 uh, food, more than Sancho, uh, and just, again, adding to that now. And I, I make the argument now that, again, uh, with the drone count, uh, yeah, buddy, just distinctly ahead on the drone count, right? Still about 12, even more now. Look at this, uh, we're at 17 more drones for yeah, buddy and with the exact same number of bases. And all that means, all that means is that uh, Yeah Buddy is, is just gonna have a greater amount of income coming in. Yeah, that, that's, that's, it's that simple. Uh, we do see a pretty big build up here uh, on both sides. Uh, we do see the first hydros, but again, you'll notice that as a result, I'm just gonna pause this here, as a result of this offset, right, we are seeing not only a very sizable force by Yeah Buddy, but we can also see that the research is just just double um, what Sancho has, right? So we've got two two hydras and roaches to what is really a pretty sizable roach count, right? Uh, but this roach count, right? They're all zero ones, right? So uh, two distinct advantages for Yeah Buddy: uh, the uh, number of roaches is about the same uh, you also have this offset of hydralisks but then with that even matchup you still have a research offset uh, that favors yeah buddy uh, so in a one-to-one -one contest right these roaches are just going to decimate 
uh, Sancho's. And uh, there really isn't any way to uh, catch up here in the short term. Uh, we do see a little bit inefficient use of the evolution chambers because these um, missiles are going to come down and be researched. So that'll give them a 2-0 combination or a 0-2 depending on which way you want to talk it. But again now, so we've got uh, Sancho here making a march with less units, less researched. And uh, yeah, buddies, just you know, going to kind of march right in there, take out a couple more units, and uh, we're just going to follow this right back up. And even now, so we've got all right. So now, now we are at an even point in the matchup. Taking a couple pot shots there, and we are going to see this engagement here. And really, they are playing pretty conservatively against each other. But uh, I, I again would make the argument that uh, <laughs> you know both of them are really in a position where they're just you know kind of playing against each other. I, I would still make the argument that uh, Sancho is a little bit at a disadvantage, uh, maxed out. But uh, one of them is uh, O2, the other one's 2-2, with slightly different uh, combinations of units. Uh, so we see 60 roaches. Excuse me. Let me come over here. 60 roaches to 39 roaches but then the key differentiator here is we have 18 hydras to three hydras uh, so these 39 roaches here are going to take on uh, these 60 and be kind of the buffer and allow these hydralisks which uh, have slightly faster uh, attack and uh, certainly farther range uh, to, to, to do damage weapon speed 8.3 uh, weapon speed 2. Alright, I lied. So I don't know what I'm talking about. It's okay. I'll see why. Alright, so now we see that yeah, buddy making a move uh, to grab his... fourth, and we do see this motion. So now we've got, now this was kind of good on Sancho's part in the sense that he does have a couple guys going around, but I'm not sure that was intentional. And we are going to see uh, that, yeah, buddy has this nice uh, arrow point while Sancho's units really are not set up to engage because ideally you'd want this arrangement and uh, that's impossible because of you know, uh, this massive chasm uh, right in the middle of the map. So obviously location, location, location. Uh, so they're going to come around, and it does look like Yeah Buddy and uh, Sancho are going to be facing off here. And uh, we do see some key, uh, I guess uh, I guess you'd say defeat, if you will, or pushback by Yeah Buddy, really trying to manage his units. And we do see that uh, Sancho is really just taking some damage trying to get into position. So we, we are going to see here uh, that even though Yeah Buddy might is going to uh, just barely come out even on this altercation here, just barely, we are going to see a massive amount of uh, units built up here by both both sides. Uh, let's see here. We are going to see it end right here with Yeah Buddy taking the win just barely. And we see the second push by Sancho. Uh, and it looks like he's going to let, yeah, buddy, is going to let this fall. But again, here now we've got these Zerglings coming around the side. And um, Sancho's going to have to be a wee bit careful. And then I should note, again, I apologize, that the ever uh, immense massive ultras that are out for both sides um, hmm. but again uh, major advantage here for yeah buddy just simply because uh, just even though his ultras are out eh, carapace right just not research right now and, and that's not good for him He's going to have to bring that up to speed pretty quickly if he's going to want to match this. Let me see if I can find 
there's a lot of just then just not researching it. He's trying to get out. He's got to destroy that evolution chamber to get his ultralisk out. And we do see that both of them are pretty much uh, even. Uh, but again, it looks like, yeah, Buddy just in a better position here right now. Uh, his creep expansion, let's take a look at creep. All right, so from creep expansion point, San Sancho, uh, his, his creep expansion is here, here, and here. So not really any creep expansion, right? Um, on the other hand, yeah, Buddy has full knowledge of what's going on at this entire front. This is essentially his front. And this is uh, really... Sancho's front. So you can definitely see that, um, yeah, buddy, just substantially more map knowledge. And if you wanted to go from a territorial standpoint, better territorial control. <sighs> so we do see the upgrade for uh, the Kazer blades, but just really nothing, nothing to be done there against this plus five Carapus. All right, so now we're gonna see this push uh, these Zerglings are going to engage. They're going to slow down half of his units. And that is going to put Sancho at a distinct uh, disability because his forces are now split. Uh, very similar to how my forces were split. And uh, really just that, that Kaiser Blade really can't do anything against these uh, Carapaces. Which are just going to wipe out these Oculus. And on top of that, you've got all of uh, these uh, roaches here just sitting here taking and doing damage. All right. So we still see, yeah, buddy, at 200-200, right? The Sancho's three, uh, uh, 134. So we do see a distinct advantage here for uh, yeah, buddy. Again, as evidenced by the simple fact that he's got one, two, three, four, five bases. Uh, to Sancho's three. And you can kind of see a little bit of the panic coming in. That carapace really should have been researched earlier. It's getting down, going to finish here right about now. Uh, still just going to put him at a plus three carapace. And he really hasn't hit that ideal five, plus five. And that's going to take time and money. Uh, and Sancho, at this point, is a little low on gas, uh, struggling on the gas count. And that's going to limit him because we now have a distinct disadvantage for Sancho. Uh, unit count for one, and then second, the research. The, the upgrade here is huge, uh, distinctly huge. All right, so yeah, buddy, trying to get his guys clustered in. And right now, a uh, distinct advantage simply because uh, these ultralisks now have kind of reach their full potential and he's going to kind of maximize this get the roaches out let the ultras take the brute of the attack and then use the roaches to snipe the ultras from afar and what we are going to see here is uh, again these ultras just not able to compete on the plus five carpet uh, i can't really emphasize that anymore any, any more so and uh, we are going to see a good game, I assume, here very shortly as uh, Sancho's main uh, resource allocation point is going to fall. Uh, these uh, ultralists are going to fall quite quickly to a fair amount of roaches. And that puts Sancho at a very distinct disadvantage all around. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is the GG. So ladies and gentlemen, we have game five between Raytheon and Amazon on week two for the regular season in the B League. Uh, Raytheon takes their second win of the season. Uh, this was a very well uh, played matchup between both Raytheon and Amazon. So congrats to both teams. Uh, this is uh, JW Schmo from Team Raytheon. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for week three uh, uh, next Sunday.